Hello, welcome back to this video series here on A Course in Miracles. So I hope that you are not only enjoying this material, but that you're learning, that you have taken some of what this course has to say, or all of it, and applied it in your daily life. That, in fact, is the purpose of having a workbook, a series of lessons. And of course, a lesson is an idea that we contemplate, meditate on, practice, and work with, with real, real emphasis on the application. Yes, it's important in spirituality to understand the concepts that you're working with, but that doesn't take you as far as you need to go, does it? It's one thing to understand an idea, to grasp it intellectually, and it's another thing entirely to integrate it. It's another thing entirely to put it into practice in your life so that you really understand it, that you learn it by teaching it, in other words, that you learn it by doing it and seeing it and its results reflected back to you, because everything is a reflection of what's going on in our own mind. So application, critical, critical, right? It's where the action is in spirituality. Now, this is relevant to all of the lessons, and it's germane to today's idea, which is lesson 308, because we misuse time a lot. And well, we'll go through some of the ways that that happens, and, and you're probably well aware of this. Anyway, lesson 308, this instant is the only time there is. Shout it out, right? This instant is the only time there is. All you have is now. There is only, only, all caps, the present moment. We can't impress this enough. Why? Because even if we intellectually grasp that now is all you have, everyone can intellectually grasp that the past is gone. Everyone can intellectually grasp that the future has not arrived yet. That's easy. Where the action lies in spiritual practice is accepting that and living in the present moment, which is the only moment that exists, and making good use of the present moment through the practice of forgiveness, through extending love, through seeing others as yourself and their interests as your own interests. Same. All of it in the present moment. Why is this important? Well, we live our lives in the past and future. Pretty much all the time when you honestly think about it, and I invite you to do that. Again, <laughs> yeah, because we're often disingenuous with ourselves. So a lot of this is about being honest and when any teacher, not just me, but anyone invites you to think honestly about it. It's an invitation for you to do that. We spend almost all our time in the past or the future. In other words, we're not present. That's very easy to grasp intellectually when you think about how often we're thinking about the past. Now, it could be recalling a beautiful memory from 20 years ago. 
Yeah, maybe you and your partner made hot, sexy love on the beach and enjoyed a relaxing soak in the hot tub later. I don't know. It could be a pleasant memory and it could be something really painful. Maybe you went through a divorce and all of a sudden one day you're having a beautiful day and then you recall something that your ex-partner said to you or shouted at you or said about you in court or something really unpleasant, right? Sometimes, and we've all done this to ourselves, we spend our present moment dwelling on the past, thinking about what we could have, would have, should have said, or could have, would have, should have done in a certain situation, or about how so-and-so really pissed us off. All of it past, all of it gone, not here. Same with the future. We think about beautiful things that may happen. Perhaps you're looking forward to a pay raise or a vacation on the beach. Perhaps you're looking forward to making love on the beach to your hot, sexy partner and really enjoying it and then having that relaxing soak in the hot tub after. Or perhaps you're looking ahead with trepidation, dread, and a lot of hostility to going to work on Monday, to a sales meeting, or to having a phone conversation with your mother-in-law or your father-in-law or a troublesome client. I don't know. There are many, many, many examples of how we are everywhere, but right here, right now. And this instant is, it is the only time that there is. So how do we really apply this and grasp it? Well, the idea, the commentary for today tells us what we need to do. So it starts right out by saying, I have conceived of time in such a way that I defeat my aim. Oh yeah, if you're off in the past or off in the future, you defeat your aim of finding and being the peace of God. Totally, because the peace of God does not exist in the past. It does not exist in the future. It knows no past or future, just right now, yeah? So next sentence. And this is what we want to talk about and look at here. If I elect to reach past time to timelessness, I must change my perception of what time is for. All right, if I elect to reach past time to timelessness, I must change my perception of what time is for. Again, with this course and with all of spiritual practice, which the Manual for Teachers calls the universal curriculum. I love that. A Course in Miracles being just one of many forms of that. If we look to reach past time to timelessness, eternity, in other words, who we are, right, then we have to change our perception of what time is for. So in spiritual practice, we're changing our perception, we're changing our mind. When we do that, then we can go beyond perception. And actually, we don't do that. That's the last step that God takes himself. But what we do is we learn by doing, to perceive things correctly as they are. That's what spiritual practice is about. So what is time for? Well, to put it very simply, it's for awakening. It's for you to awaken. It's for me to awaken. It's for your worst enemy and your ex who took you to court to awaken, right? It's for your hot, sexy beach lover to awaken. It's for everyone. Ultimately, there is no space. There's no time. There's only the eternal now, which is beyond 
concepts of space, time. It's beyond language. It's beyond this thing, for sure, isn't it? So, yeah, it's the eternal now. It's just right now. Time is for us to have these experiences. It is for us to go through our own practice, which looks like a linear time journey, doesn't it? I mean, it does. It looks like for almost all of us in spirituality, one step after another, one day's lesson after another, following each other in a logical, supposedly linear progression, and so on and so on. It's all the present moment, and we just show up right now. This is why I emphasize in these videos the importance of the decision that we make right now in the present moment for love instead of fear, for God instead of the ego, for life instead of death, for light instead of dark, for heaven instead of hell, for self with a capital S instead of self with a little s, yeah? You see where I'm going with that. Why? This instant is the only time that there is. So we're invited repeatedly in spiritual practice, especially here in A Course in Miracles, to use this time wisely, lovingly, in other words. Constructively means lovingly. With the view, as we say in Buddhism, the ultimate point of view in mind awakening, right? Spiritual awakening is where we're all headed. Now, when will that come? Well, honestly, it's up to each and every one of us when that instant arrives. So we can make a choice right now for love. We can make a choice. We can choose the strength of Christ. We can choose our light right now. The function of this course is to save ourselves time because we can eliminate scenes from the movie, so to speak. We can act like a pair of scissors or a digital splicer and compress and collapse this. You can, you can do it. Forgiveness lessons learned right now in the present mean you don't have to learn them again. That's all we're saying. So, I invite you to consider this idea. It's important. It's a critically important message, which is why we repeat it. <laughs> it's the same as all of these messages, yeah? There's a lot of skipping disc going on here by design, by design. Because I don't know what day you're going to be paying attention. Maybe it's today. My job is to simply show up and to share, to, to teach. I don't know who may be watching. And if you're watching this, and this is the day that this message that there is only right now truly hits home, the meaning, the significance, and the import of that, if today is the day where that truly hits home, fabulous. It's always time well spent for me to repeat this message over and over again. All teachers do that. It's not just me, right? I mean, this course is Jesus's course. So he's repeating himself. It's all right for us to repeat ourselves, isn't it? Because frankly, as adult learners, we need to hear things more than once. And so, this is the only time that there is. Happy, happy practicing right now in the present moment and may today be the day that the true import and significance of this idea really hits home with you and you make leap and bound progress. Yeah. May you shorten time, collapse it completely for yourself and awaken right now. That would be very kind of you. 
Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you.